In this video, we go over some of these devices here and how they can send the authentication packets to your ring doorbell or any kind of Wi-Fi camera and pretty much disable it um, with just a hit of a button. And uh, we go over numerous ways to do that um, in this video. And I also talk about how to protect yourself from an attack like this. All right, in this video, I'm using the D-Author V3. I'm going to be scanning all access points and stations or clients around me. Once that is done, we'll be able to attack. But first, I wanted to show you that there's my decoy box that's just blowing in the wind. Um, we're about to attack the ring doorbell here, or in this case, the Wi-Fi doorbell. This attack will work for any kind of network-based camera. So right here, we're going to start the attack. I'm going to select my device. I blurt it out because I don't want anybody seeing other devices around me. Again, this is an isolated attack. I'm going to select the authentication attack and starting it. So it happens very fast. I'm going to show you what it looks like on the ring doorbell here. So you see it's starting to freeze up now. We lose connection. And uh, I'm actually walking outside grabbing the package right now. The camera has been disabled. I'm going to come back inside and I'm going to turn off the attack and reconnect the camera. All right, so now it's going to reconnect, and you're going to see I left a anonymous like mask out there instead to be like funny. And unfortunately, that's how easy it is to do this type of attack. So I'm going to go over some other tools that you can do this kind of stuff with. Okay, I want to go over some different tools that you can use to do these same kind of attacks. Now, again, these are all available to the public, so these are not like stuff you get off the dark web. You can literally buy most of the stuff on Amazon. So. With that said, this was the one that was in the video. This is what I got on Amazon. This was like 80 bucks for the Dauthor V3, uh, I believe this one is. Uh, this ended up sending a deauthentication packet to the doorbell, which disabled it. Um, and uh, that's how I was able to take the, my own package and um, uh, without any trade. Keep in mind, I this was a controlled test. Um, I, I only attacked the one device. Unfortunately, this can attack every device in its radius. I only could attack the one that I have control over. So in the this video, I only was testing on my own stuff. So I just want to, I can't emphasize that enough. When you do this kind of stuff, if you're testing at home, make sure it's your stuff. Um, so another device would be the Flipper Zero. So you can buy this module right here. This allows it to do Wi-Fi attacks. Uh, same thing with the 2.4 gigahertz spectrum there. Um, say that you could scan networks around you. You can um, send the authentication packets to select devices or APs. Um, uh, now we're gonna. I want to get into more. And this is about like eighty dollars, eighty to ninety dollars for this add-on to this device here. Now this is worth it. If you want to just pop it in, you can do some cool things on the fly. But there's some cheaper options. Now this is. I'm gonna go for almost a free option here. So this laptop again. I have a bunch of laptops. I tell my friends and family, hey, if you have any junk laptops, just throw, give it to me. I end up wiping the OS and putting on uh, Linux, which is a very easy OS for old computers. I and mean, it almost makes it brand new. So you get a lot of free tools. I use Parrot Security OS. I just like it. It's very clean uh, Linux distro. And um, you have a thing called Arageddon. And uh, it's just like this stuff. Uh, it's a little bit more terminal based, but you can do the same kind of attacks. You can actually grab handshakes and later on using other apps, you can get passwords, you can set the authentication packets. Um, some computers don't, Wi-Fi cards don't support monitoring mode. So you have to buy these kind of adapters. This is a more of expensive one. This one can handle six, uh, Wi-Fi six. Um, actually this can do Wi-Fi seven, six, I believe. Yep, Wi-Fi right 7, 6, 5, and 2.4 gigahertz networks. These alpha adapters work very well with Kali Linux, very minimum uh, setup. Uh, and if, if you need a driver, it's pretty simple to find. You just go on, just Google the driver you need and there's step-by-step instruction, step -step instructions on how to do it. Now, if you're like new, and I, this is what, out of all these devices here, this Wi-Fi Pineapple is the best alerting device. And I'm gonna tell you the reason why. It comes with this really nice GUI. So you just, you log into it, you get the IP address that, that's defaulted. Um, we, we, so right now I have it in sensor mode. So I had to scan all the devices around uh, my neighborhood. Now it's sensors, so you can't see everything. Um, that's a cool feature too. So if you wanna make YouTube videos, you can actually censor stuff. So it blocks the names and stuff like that. So it's protected. But with that said, 
same thing. I can I can attack clients, doorbells, etc. DR, I can send the authentication packets, etc. Um, and this is part of the Wi-Fi pineapple experience. I recommend this because it's so GUI based. It's very hard to make uh, make a mistake. It's just easy to use. You can do evil uh, portals. You can. There's so many uh, diagnostic tools and um, recon tools and just all, everything's built into this and it's all like you can learn on the go and it kind of like walks you through how to do some of this stuff and uh i just recommend this if you're a beginner and it, for a couple uh, a little under 200 dollars, like this is your best bet here and again this comes you can just buy the module that does the 2.4 gigahertz network but i bought this the tactical version that came with the cool bag um now i can handle five gigahertz network so the whole point of this video is just to say that there is a lot of devices out there that can do Wi-Fi penetration testing. Um, this one in particular in this video, I go over how vulnerable Wi-Fi cameras are. Um, the way you prevent stuff like this, and it's not really preventing it, it's just making it harder for people. So these devices, like this is fairly cheap. Um, you can build one of these even cheaper than the one I have here. And um, they only operate at 2.4 gigahertz network. So when you wanna get up to the five, you have to spend a little bit more money and get something like a Wi-Fi pineapple with the adapter to get other networks. So I would recommend connecting your doorbells to a, a either a six gigahertz network if possible, if they can handle it, or a five gigahertz uh, network. Now, again, it's not impossible because you can buy these adapters um, and attack uh, the same way I did with this watch here. But you're just it's one level up. Like somebody that's new, they bought some t toy on Amazon or whatever this is this you don't really need a brain to really use this device uh maliciously unfortunately so in my, in my environment i was everything was a controlled test but i don't, I don't think a criminal is going to care unfortunately so with that said i my recommendation for people if you want to save some money um i would just get a junk laptop put uh cali linux or put powered os security or some kind of cybersecurity distro of linux on the your broken, half broken laptop and buy a cheap adapter. This one's a little bit expensive. I think this was like $70 for this adapter here, but something that there's, there's cheaper ones out there, they hand, handle monitoring mode uh, and that will allow you to do these types of uh, attacks. And again, there's tons of free Wi-Fi hacker tools. I mean, it's just this, and it comes with the OS. So it's, this is all free. The OS is free. You just gotta download it, make a bootable USB flash drive. I'll put a link in the description for that. I made a video on how to make one of those. And uh, you're good to go. I mean, you could literally have uh, Wi-Fi attacking set up, um, pen testing set up for under 80 bucks. I mean, you just, I, I recommend doing the, free, the most free stuff first. But if you really want to get into it and you want a nice, easy way to learn, the Wi-Fi pineapple is the best way. Because just the GUI is easy to learn. It kind of like walks you through stuff. There's tons of things online to help walk you through attacks. You can even do reports with this thing after you do a um, a campaign. You, it actually has, helps you write out reports and mix that with AI, and you can become your own pen tester or something. But that that's with that said, you just gotta be careful. Um, there's no such thing as safety. There's, it's only layers of safety that prevent bad things from happening. So if you want to protect yourself from a doorbell or a Wi-Fi camera hack, one of these cheap devices you can pretty much get on Amazon, I would recommend maybe going for a higher uh, gigahertz network just so uh, people that buy these cheap devices are not able to attack the five gigahertz network. Um, again, you could with these other devices, but now you're spending a little bit more money. Not Most people are not gonna be gravitating toward this stuff. Um, they're gonna be buying this cheap, almost toy-like hacking devices. Um, the Flipper Zero module is probably the middle ground of the two because you get the Flipper Zero, all the benefits of having Flipper Zero, and you just pop this on when you want to do some Wi-Fi penetration testing, but it's very limited, and I find that it's sometimes a little buggy when you plug these uh, modules in. Um, I had this crash multiple times during testing for this video. Thank you very much for watching my YouTube video. I'm gonna be posting every Wednesday. Um, I just got channel memberships. We just got partnered on my channel and I'm really excited about that. So if you want, you could be a member, you help support my channel. And remember, safety is an illusion. Um, at the end of the day, just the layers of security is what prevents you from getting hacked or prevents you from something. It's just add a layer, make it harder for someone to 
attack you and your neighbor will probably be weak because they don't know the things that you know. So it's basically like the same comparison where there's a bear. You don't have to fight the bear, but you just got to run faster than the guy next to you. It's like th that kind of uh, perspective where do these steps to protect you use a different gigahertz network rather than a 2.4 and it's just one layer of security more. Thank you for watching this video. I will see you in the next one.